Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Point vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we are checking out yet another zombie class. This one is the Imp, of course, introduced in Garden Warfare 2. He has three abilities, the Gravity Grenade, pull and hold enemies in a location. I feel like the size of this one's been a bit nerfed, but at the same time, maybe not from Garden Warfare 2 to Battle for Neighborville, but basically everybody in that sphere will sort of be pulled into it, which means you can just sort of vanquish them very, oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Uh. Okay, anyways, uh, Robocall, calling a powerful mech to, contr to control for a limited time, we'll show that off in just a second, and the Imkata, or I like to call it the break dancing, uh, spin and fire blasters in all directions. I feel like this was improved since Garden Warfare 2. You can see there's sort of two phases to it, and we'll get into that when we go online, but there's sort of one where he's on his back, and one where he's sort of spinning when he's standing up. Uh, the one when he's standing up, Seems to do more damage, but anyways, we'll go ahead and call in the powerful mech whenever it gives me the time. It looks like we still have 60 seconds left. Uh, but yeah, going on though, it looks like his role is attack. Imps are close range attackers that can be hard to hit and excel in chaos. When riding a Z mech, they gain more explosive weapons and better ways to deal damage. The primary weapon is the Imp Blasters dual short range automatic blasters. Special is briefly hovering the air by double jumping. So yeah, I actually really like his primary weapon, and I will showcase the mech in just a moment, uh, whenever, whenever it loads. Okay, so let's call him this mech. Of course, it is very similar to how it was in Go to Warfare 2. Uh, it does have its own set of abilities. It has the Missile Madness, launch a large volley of explosive missiles, so this one's really good. It can land a lot of damage real quick if you're accurate with it. It can definitely mow down a couple of plants if there's a big group of them. There's also the Explosive Escape, detonate Z-Mech to cause massive damage to nearby enemies. We'll do that last. And the Bionic Bash, punch the ground, damaging and knocking enemies back. This one's not too bad. It's sort of a little bit different than the Z-Mech Stomp. It seems to have a little bit more oomph to it than the one in Garden Warfare 2. The Z-Mech is great at attacking enemies at all all distances, they just need to be careful because they are a large target, which is definitely true. And then the primary weapon is Robo Laser, massive automatic overheat laser, special as mech provides extra protection for the imp. So with all of that being said, we are good to go online, probably play some turf takeover as the imp. So before we get started with the imp, I'm going to go ahead and apply some upgrades to him. He doesn't really need the Ecker experience right now because he's already level seven, but we'll try to do some a little bit more with him. Um, and then we'll also do maybe speedy move faster except on sprinting, that could be helpful. Um, especially since Imp is supposed to be sort of jumping around going crazy. And we'll also do low life, because that could be pretty good with the Imp. So let's get out there, hope for the best, capture Uno Taco, oh, good job team. Really rare that they end up getting that point. But honestly, I've been loving his primary weapon from when I've tried it on the story mode. We'll see how well it goes here in the online multiplayer, of course. But it could go well. Anyways, are we running the wrong way? No, we're not. Never mind, I was getting a little confused. I thought we'd go the other direction. Oh, we can use this to speed up a little bit too. Wee! <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's really interesting because I think the Imp is a super powerful class here in Battle for Neighborville from what I've tried, and I really wanna see if that's confirmed to me as we play through today's episode. Uh, for right now, we haven't been in too much action just yet. Oh, here comes somebody. Was that an acorn? That looked like for a second it was an acorn. All right, well, we'll get over this way. The only shame I really see, oh gosh. Uh, there's a lot more plants here than I was expecting. A lot more plants. Okay, you know what, let's try this. No, what happened? Okay, that was weird. I pressed the Imkata, but it didn't actually start until like a full like couple seconds after. That was just super weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there was some lag happening or what. So that wasn't a good start. I mean, it was sort of a weird situation just to sort of run in, but uh, capture Uno Taco again, come on, let's go. There's a chomper, he's running away. And then there is, I say that the primary weapons do is good, but I'm not doing so well with that. Can I get up here? Ah, not quite, all right. Just trying to get up to where I can, when I can. There's definitely gonna be some plants over this way, right? Okay, there's a potato mine. Definitely we just need to capture the zone, which the Imp is really good at, especially with this Imkata and being able to occasionally use the mech. But as you can see, the second half of the Imkata there does substantially more damage. Oh, there's more than one sunflower, okay. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'll focus on the pea shooter for right now. Let me back up and get out of here. That's that's a wall. Okay, run, run, run. I can get my mech in, but I gotta make sure everything's okay. This is where the big difference is. A lot of people are comparing Imp to Acorn, 
I think that Imp is definitely a bit more of an attack class, and why that is is because Imp has to wait for his mech to be ready. Uh, the Acorn can drop into the Oak uh, whenever he needs to. But the difference is that if Oak it gets uh, vanquished, so does Acorn. But when that happens here, it doesn't vanquish the Imp. As far as I understand, we'll just hop out and be okay. So that's a big difference maker. Um, can you leave me alone, sir? You are attacking me from every angle. It hurts a lot. But we were able to go in there and get a couple of vanquishes, and you can be as risky as you want with the mech and still be totally fine because you always are guaranteed to hop out of it. And that's a big change from Garden Warfare 2, where if you got vanquished while you were in the mech, it counted as just being vanquished. But you had always, of course, a chance to um, jump out of the mech. You still have that chance here. And I think it's still worth doing because then you can sort of time your explosion with the mech because the mech itself does explode. Anyways, we need to keep contesting this point, make it really tough for the plants to do anything, because if we can do that, oh, hello. Um, that hurt. Not good, not good, not good. Can we get him with the Imkata? I definitely think the Imkata just sort of hurts certain people certain ways in certain situations, but in other ways, it just doesn't work so well. Let's revive you if I can. There's a cactus up there. I don't know, yeah, that wasn't a very good idea, was it? Oh, wow. Well. Should have been a little bit more stealthy with my revives. The cacti up there are definitely causing us some trouble. If I could sneak up there and sort of take them out, I think that'd be a good idea. We just gotta be careful of the potato mines because of course that's what a cactus does. Uh, but I might as well spawn in a couple zombies along the way because we're contesting the point we have two minutes left. But this is definitely the, a situation, I'm sorry, my cat is meowing in the background. I think she wants a treat. I'm gonna give her one between rounds. Okay. Um, oh, here's a cactus. Come on, come on. Oh boy. There we go, there we go. Did we get you? I think we got her. Oh, but what's another good thing is that the Imkata like, boundary is a little bit more pronounced in this game. You can actually see a circle around the imp where you can sort of know that reaches. So that didn't go as well for me <laughs> as I was hoping it would. Oh boy. Um, the Thunderdome, closed due to zombie takeover. No more fun thanks to zombies. Luckily, playing as the zombies is quite fun. So we're going to capture the museum. I can't believe how well we're doing as a team here. I, I'm not doing so well on my own, but this is also really good. Because we can keep vanquishing him even though he's invisible, so that's always good. Okay, so we have our mech nice and ready. This should turn out pretty well, I can only hope. Oh, there's a kernel corn over there. Did the super brains take him out? I'm not sure. I think that was a kernel corn. I think he got away. Oh man. Okay, let's quickly do that, because he just gets stuck in the very center and you know exactly where to attack. It's also a really great team play move. If you do have other teammates nearby, you can really make some major plays happen with it, which is always fantastic. Oh no, I need to get out of here. That was not getting out of here. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, ow, I don't know who got me there, but that definitely hurt. Ooh, Imkata definitely taking out the sunflower really well. It's time for the, oh gosh, the mech. Another big change, or at least big note between the acorn and the imp is that the imp is actually invincible when you call in the mech, but the acorn is not. Owie, that hurt. I was actually able to do still a good chunk of damage there. Come on, I got him, run away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, um, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. I can't jump when I'm doing the Imkata. Luckily, he actually went for somebody else. I'm sort of surprised by that. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. No, wait, there was another one. I accidentally pushed the touch, the touch pad to see this, the screen when I was trying to jump away. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize it was another chomper. Well, this is very crazy. Okay, so what is going on next? First off, keep at it with this. But that's sort of the great thing with the imp is that he is actually very team play oriented. You really wanna time your stuff with it while everybody else is ready because it can do even, oh, come on. I didn't even see him. I was already looking at a dirt pile. Got me while I was distracted. Maybe somebody, oh, well, I can't be revived, I'm, I'm chomped. Nobody's gonna be able to get me back. Okay, so, we still have not done much with this point, though. I'm talking about how good it is, but apparently we haven't been doing so good. I really do like the imp, though. Oh, there's a Snapdragon over this way. The plants are playing pretty well with defensively right now, I feel. They're definitely sort of infiltrating our spawn area, making it tougher for us to move in. But definitely, like, a good example is probably right over this way with, oh boy, with the Space Cadet. If you set that up, or you know, you set up the anti-gravity with the Space Cadet, it can do some major damage if she slams on them while they're anti-grab. Okay, ooh, doing some really good damage to him there. 
He's gonna try to jump, and he got me! I can't believe that, are you kidding me? Oh, that's so uncool, he's like at one health. Ah, okay, at least somebody's nice enough to revive me. I really appreciate that, Super Brains, you're the best. If I have my mech ready, you guys are gonna feel my wrath, which my mech is not ready. Can I anti-grab this guy? Nope, he dug down. I'm so sorry, I wish I could've saved you just the way you saved me, I tried. Okay, you know what? Well, nobody's looking. It's time for the mech. Yeah, you're in so much trouble, Sunflower. You better be ready for this one. Okay, here we go, here we go. Pick out the smaller enemies if we can, or the you know the lower health enemies, but also the tougher ones like you, and then slam on you. Who else do we got around here? Nightcap is done. Focus on the acorn. Focus on the acorn. Gotcha, nice stuff. Got a kernel corn over this way. We definitely have to sort of go against the people with higher firepower before they mow us down really quickly, because that could happen. It just, it, there definitely is like a long reload, but whenever we have the missiles, that's what we need to focus on. Oh my gosh. But as you can see, we we're able to do some good stuff there. And I was able to unleash the mech without getting taken out, but I can't move. That was weird. I don't know what that was about, but I was just stunned for a moment. I don't know if that was a glitch or if somebody stunned me somehow, some way. It's a little weird. Oh, my aim is off right now. Focus on the oak. There we go, easy enough, right? There was an acorn on top of him. Good job, team. Super proud of you for that one. Explode those potato mines. Run over this way. Where did this cactus go? Is the big question now. We can catch up to her, that'd be great. Oh, I see you, Chomper. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Break dance on him, break dance on him. Wait, did he not get grabbed by the anti-grab there? That was weird. He was definitely in it, but he wasn't in the center of it. I don't know what's going on about that. <laughs> Alrighty, um, but we're still doing pretty decent, I feel. We're, we're definitely helping contribute to the point, definitely on that last one. We have 15 vanquishes, which is really nice, so overall I think things are going pretty well. And now we're actually at the last point for, what is this, Peachy Valley, I think? Hack broadcast vent. But since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on the imp here in Battle for Neighborville? Do you think he's better or worse than he was in Garden Warfare 2? I think he's great. I feel like the biggest disappointment, and it's not really this game's fault, but I'm really going to miss the the different mech abilities. You know, because you know when you had a little Drake or the Pylon imp or something like that, you'd have a different mech with it, and it would have a whole different set of abilities and controls and stuff. I will definitely miss that. But you know what? I think it's, you know, for better. You know, we will see different things in the game and that'll be cool. They've already confirmed that they're they're planning on adding more classes to the game eventually, or at least it's something they plan on seeing if they can work on something to that capacity, which is, oh gosh, there's a Chrono Corn. It's really exciting. This guy doesn't quite see me. What his teammates do? Oh, I don't have my mech just yet. I will in a couple of seconds though. Oh, but they were waiting for me now. Not good. <laughs> All right, well. Let's just hope that, ooh, Super Brains is amazing again. Thank you so much to the Super Brains. He's been reviving me, he's been helping me out. Some good team play. It's crazy that he's like a defensive character this time. I don't think he's attack. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. see that, Walnut? Not happening. Okay, well that's amazing. But this is definitely a good way to go. Okay, when the Nightcap's not bothering you. Okay, Nightcap is actually over this way. Get him, he doesn't see me just yet but I don't see him anymore. I guess he's over here. Come on, got him. Get rid of this nightcap as much as I can. And ooh, do the downward punch on the sunflower. Will it be enough? Okay, we need to hop out like pronto, but also like try to use the anti-grav. I feel like it's way harder to land the anti-grav in this game. The gravity grenade. It just, that's the first, I mean, that's not, I mean, that's one of the many times now I've tried to land it and it just doesn't land, I feel, the same way. It doesn't seem like it has as much of an impactfully big radius. It seems like it goes up higher. It's more of a sphere than it was a half sphere in Garden Warfare 2. But I feel like overall that's a, a worse ability so far. Anyways, we need to hack this bus. Yeah, what's interesting is the last time I was playing on this map. Okay, let's see if he hops out. Well, he's not even over there. Um. Oh boy. Come on, get him, get him. Oh, he got healed by his vanquish. There's one plant down. Let's work on the other, or not. Uh, I forget what I was trying to say before. Um, but anyways, got him. Yeah, the last time we were on this map and at this point in the round, 
There we go, he's in the center, but you really gotta throw it right on top of them. Uh, we are playing the plant team as Oak and Acorn, so this is a little bit different for us, for sure. I see the Sunflower, I'd like to damage her as much as I can. I feel like the cooldown for it is a little bit more survivable. Like, see, that was not a good spot for it. Nobody landed in it. Cause that's something in Garden Warfare 2 where it's just like, in Garden Warfare 2, if there was a skirmish happening and there was a couple players around, you can just sort of throw the grenade down and you know know that at least like one plant player will run right into it, you know? But you don't get that as much here. See, he's definitely in it now, but only for a couple of seconds. I feel like it lasts ever so slightly shorter, but that might be totally wrong. Which is like, once again, it's not a bad thing because he definitely has some other strengths, but it is just interesting to note the changes between Garden Warfare 2 Imp and Battle for Neighborville Imp. Because it will matter knowing that going into it, if you are used to Garden Warfare 2, you can't really make the same assumptions as you would there. Okay. Uh, but of course, you know, the big drawback to the Imp is just, you know, as he is the Imp and not in the mech, he is extraordinarily, extraordinarily low on health. Okay. So did we reach uh, level 10 there? Yeah, I guess we did. Okay, ready for this? I'm going in. I'm gonna break dance on this Colonel Corn as much as I can. He's just running in circles now. Got him. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. And of course, they can still attack back. Oh, I think I got my health back for that Vanquish as well. Very cool. But um, yeah, they can attack back while we're, have them in the gravity grenade. But the idea is that we can sort of out attack them. At least that's the hope. Got her. Okay, that's good, that's good. I think there's some other enemies nearby should be a bit more careful about, like this Snapdragon. Get him out of here. Be gone, sir. Okay, how are you still not taken out? You're kidding me, right? Get over here. He's very tanky. More than you'd expect. Oh gosh, I'm being attacked from every angle. And I'm, I was just like frozen there again. I was moving and nothing was happening. It might be some lag. It might've just been that the Chomper had actually already gotten me but the game wasn't ca caught up or something. I don't know, it's a little weird. Anyways, it looks like we won't be able to win this one. It's 43. Yeah, we're not even halfway there, unfortunately. They were able to kick our butts pretty well in this game mode, or at least this is the last ending point. But we'll do what we can. Get the pea shooter, got him. Throw down anti-grav, which won't actually land on anybody. Definitely, they were taking the uh, building up here. That was definitely making a big difference. Return to the base to be a live audience show. <laughs> I guess that means we lost. Uh, but anyways, there we go. We got our first round done with the Imp. It was a lot of fun. We're gonna go back to Giddy Park now to promote the Imp, and then we'll keep playing him for a little bit. That'll be fun. But as you can see, no more uh, plants versus our zombies TV. Instead, it's just gonna be the plants on the Acorn talk show. <laughs> All right, well, that's awesome. All righty, so what's going on over this way? We will see what different upgrades we can get for the Imp. He has the Mech Hunter, which is the utility, faster refresh time of Robocall when dealing damage, and Butt Booster, or Butt Booster Booster mobility. Second jump hovers longer, which is okay. I mean, the faster refresh time for Robocall when dealing damage seems pretty cool. I, I, I'm sort of having a hard time wrapping my head around how that works, but maybe we'll try it and just sort of see how it goes. But for right now, the promotion is here. Imp is up to advance, which is great. So we'll go back into the action now and apply one of those upgrades. I'll do that right now. We'll apply one of the upgrades. But booster booster is a little weird, but I mean, good if you do a lot of platforming. Oh, hello. You sort of scared me there. Um, but where is the character? Uh, what's up? I am customizing my imp. That's what's up. How are you? Uh, but where is this? Here we go. So, I, I guess we still need the leveling up, but we don't really need the, the speedy as much. So we could do that, I guess, unequip the low life and do, where is it, mech hunter, faster refresh time of robocall when dealing damage. So I think that'd be pretty good. The better we do, the faster we can get our mech, which means the better we can do continuously. So hopefully that'll be the case, but for right now, we will go back to turf takeover. Looks like we're back at the uh, television map, the Peachy, I think it's called like the Peachy Valley or something. It'd be cool if you could pause the game and it would tell you which map you're on, just because there's extra real estate on the screen anyways. But uh, yeah, hopefully we're good to go. Hello. Uh, I forget which button, yeah, th here we go. Uh, move out, there we go. <laughs> you lead. <laughs> Swagger point, what does that even mean? I don't know. Uh, 
capture landing spots for my signal boosters. With my face on the TV, the brains will rain. Alrighty then, we'll keep that in mind. I do see a pink sunflower up here. She doesn't seem to see me. Uh, we got the assist for it. Now I'm just trying to beat up this Citron a little bit. How far can I throw this thing? Pretty far, actually. It went past the, 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 the house. Oh, and the sunflower's back, okay. Uh, I keep on wanting to pull in my mech. Can't quite do that. Oh, got that vanquished, so that's nice. We're not gonna be able to get him too easily without, oh, okay, another imp must be over there then. Is that, <laughs> yeah, right here. Oh, no, you don't. Leave my fellow imp alone. Oh, boy. Almost got him, almost got him, but now I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. Darn it, Citron, you had teamwork. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, well that's okay. We got a couple of vanquishes before we got taken out, but definitely I think that the mech respawns faster in Garden Warfare 2, or at least it readies up sooner. But remember, we should now have the upgrade where we will be getting it faster, sooner, I would think, uh, if we do damage. Um, gotta be careful, this guy. Oh no, you don't. There we go. Get him in here. Didn't quite work. Okay, where is he? He is running away away. <laughs> so not even near where I was at all. Where did he go? He's hard to keep up with. But there's some stuff to keep up with over this way. Oh, I know you're around here. Oh, you're up there now? My aim is so bad right now. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I would love to get that cactus that was around. Ow, the cactus is getting me. Jeez. This is always such a tough point because they really can spawn or camp or spawn. Like they're just on the, the rooftops over there just volleying all their shots at us. I feel like it'd be great to get something like a Captain Deadbeard. How did you get vanquished in the base? No, you're not in the base, you're way over there. Um, I am so confused, but all right. Uh, that was very confusing. But we can't even get out of our spawn right now. I would like to change that by destroying these cactus players, the cacti. But I don't know how well that's actually gonna work. Oh no. Throw that there, do our break dance. Okay, now you're stuck in the break dance, but it still wasn't enough. It's just like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even wanna tussle with these guys. I just wanna get to the point, but you can't. Definitely, I think this this map, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but it definitely needs some balancing. Like, I don't know how you would even balance a map like this without physically restructuring it, though. So that's sort of a bit of a concern. Guess we'll have to wait and see, because I just I think that a lot of zombie teams end up losing on this first point quite commonly, more times than not. And I get you know that it's okay for there to be a point that's occasionally tough, but that's not really the main issue here. I'm trying to get up there, because without, Getting rid of the, oh no. And they're actually here to just beat up. Okay, you know what? This might be my chance to spawn in the mech. I'm not gonna get that chance because my Imkata was still going on. This is just an unfortunate round. Okay. We'll, we'll try again. Wherever we can. Maybe we can chill out with this scientist. That'd be helpful. But look at how many zombies are getting, and a lot of zombies are getting really caught up with the fight. And I think that's sort of something that happens is that the players, you know, they're trying to get to the point, but then they see these, you know, enemies attacking them before they even get to the point, they wanna vanquish the enemies first, thus we never actually end up getting to the point. Come on. Oh, they got a vanquish, so they heal again. <laughs> that could be really tough, and this guy just like won't leave me alone. Please call on the Mac, please call on the Mac, thank you. Where's this chomper at? Because I'm sick of him. Can somebody pretty please get him? He's gone. Got him, okay, that's good. We still have a lot of health. I would like to use it to destroy more plants like this kernel corn. What are you guys doing near our spawn, huh? I'm sick of it. Okay, well he ran off like a coward. I mean, it's what you're supposed to do as a nightcap. <laughs> I'm not blaming him too much. Let's try to get him stuck near it or not. Oh, that still got him. Once again, there's like this weird delay after I hop out of my mech. There's this moment where I just cannot move, which is bizarre. Oh, hello. You have a lot of health. Oh my. Uh, do they see me? Oh, they see me. All right, well that was fun while it lasted. I can't get it on my own. Even as a mech, that'd be tough, but it would at least be slightly more doable. Oh boy. 
So I don't see us getting a win here with only one minute remaining. I'll try my best though. Come on. Probably should have thrown the grenade at him. We still have a chance. Oh, there we go, there we go, it actually got him. That's it, you can see that could have been very well teamed up with the Captain Deadbeard. He could have, you know, used his barrel blast there. My cap is still really tough to deal with. I see this cactus zooming in, trying to get me. Not much I can do about it when there's also a nightcap and a chomper and 32 other plants on our spawn. So yeah, I really do think this map needs a rebalance some way, somehow. Maybe it's just retracting the plant spawn back a bit, but I feel like that could also really disrupt the map in a not very good way. I really don't know what the answer is. If you guys have answers, I would love to hear all about it. Right now, I'm gonna try sneaking in over here, but you can't even see what's happening before. It's just like ridiculous. Break dance on him. Break dance on him. See ya. And I'm done. <laughs> All right. Well, tried my best. We are going to finish this round off. I mean, I think it's almost done. I think it's gonna. Oh, it's in overtime. Okay. Then let's move out. I don't know how we're in overtime right now, but I'm very proud of my team for getting there. Okay. I don't know where this guy is coming in from. He ran the other direction. Isn't that fantastic? but only 10 more seconds left for this mech. I'm gonna go and give it one last push if I can or not. Never mind. Of course, when I have that opportunity, it has been seized from me. Oh well. I'm gonna blame the map for that one more than the imp or even the team. It just seems like it happens that way way too often for it to be anything but the map. Bow down. Once again, love to hear your thoughts on it. Let's go ahead and do another round. Okay, so let's try a defensive situation with the Imp and see how that goes. I feel like it could still work out pretty well. I don't know if it'll be as good. Guard the bomb and granite safeguard, my brains, find your satellite launch, go. Alrighty, so whenever these plants show up, we'll do exactly just that. Hmm. Plants aren't showing up just yet, but I'm sure they will any moment. And the best thing we could do is an Imp I feel is sort of use a gravity grenade to sort of get them caught out in positions that aren't as good for them. It looks like the teams are a little smaller for right now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, here comes the cavalry. Oh boy. Lots of stuff heading in there. Okay, this is probably a mistake. Oh, it absolutely is. <laughs> I probably shouldn't imcot it in like that because you're, you're very vulnerable when you do that. You wanna make sure that you're sort of sneaking up on them or at an angle that's hard to hit, but I'm just right in front of their field of view. Not gonna help me too much. We will try again and see if we can't get back out there. They're already trying to take the point. So I need to really pay attention to see if it's going to, it's hard to do that, but see if landing damage lowers the cooldown. Oh my gosh, with cactuses today. It's like, I'm just trying to play. <laughs> the cactus can just take me out in one shot. It's just crazy. All right, well, I don't know. Plant team is just too powerful right now. Way too powerful, at least for me to keep up with. Hopefully the more we play Imp though, the more we can figure that kind of stuff out. Okay, somebody got him, that's good. Glad to see it. Let's get back out, they've already taken it. I don't know if this is really a comment on Imp not being very good at defense more than it is the plant team just kicking my butt right now. Still haven't even gotten the max, so it shows you that it's really hard to do much with that. Who's attacking me? From where? That was weird. Oh boy. Well, luckily I'm starting to heal. Don't know if I need it that much, but we're gonna call on the mech as they are bringing in the payload. This could prove to get us a lot of vanquishes. All right, missiles abound. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. Launch out, launch out, I can't, I'm stuck. I was trying to launch out, it didn't really work. Um. Okay, Imkata or something, I can't do my abilities while I'm in the, like the, the poison goo or something. I don't know what it is. But there's something there that allow, doesn't allow me to use my abilities. I feel like that was actually pretty good use of the mech though. We got like two or three vanquishes out of it. And then also I was able to continue on after that to disrupt the team. It wasn't enough to actually stop them at all. But you know what, I'm doing what I can with what I have. Yeah, we only have three vanquishes, so I guess some of those were maybe plant spawnables or something. But you know what, in another 85 seconds, I'll be able to do that again. That'll be cool. In the meantime, though, I need to get out over here and just sort of see what we can take on next. Here is the Citron. 
Got him. Okay, that was a good vanquish, actually. Oh, and this is a nice little spot. I like this. Come on, attack him, attack him, attack him, attack him. The Hypno Shroom. Really trying to get me there. I can get that Chomper, that's great. Oh, I see you, Cactus. Oh, I see you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Finally, I've gotten a Cactus. That feels good after how many times they vanquished me recently. Okay, I'm gonna throw that back that, that way. Did you not land in it? No, you did, you did, you did. I just didn't do a good job capitalizing in that situation. Somebody got him, though. Oh. Come on, keep beating up the Citron. He doesn't see me up here. I'm just trying to get past his shield, just like that, just like that, perfect. And then these guys don't see me, so if I could break dance on him, it would be perfect. But definitely, it seems like jumping negates some of the damage to Imkata because I definitely didn't do as much damage on that pea shooter, despite the fact I was really close to him. So that was weird, but gotta keep it in mind. Only five more seconds left for the Mac. I definitely feel like that was a little bit faster, but it also might be that the time is going by faster because I'm fighting them a lot. So I'm not really sure if this upgrade is still worthwhile or not. I can't even see if I'm actually hitting anybody, except for that. I guess somebody got rid of a nightcap. Once again, I can't even see who I'm attacking. I'm just sort of attacking. Whoa, no you don't. Will this catch you? I don't think he can be gravity grenaded when he's chewing either, which is weird. Anyways, they're about to get this. We need to put a stop to it. Super Brains landed like an awesome ultra ball there. I saw that. Okay, you know what? Get him, get him, get him. Missiles everywhere, there's two. That was really good actually. Get that there, and then I'm immediately vanquished. And the gravity grenade grabbed no one. If that was Garden Warfare 2, it would have guaranteedly, guaranteed, guaranteedly is not a word, uh, but it would have definitely gotten at least one or two people. So it is a little weird. Anyways, they are still pushing that payload. We will do what we can about this but I'm not looking at, li liking the prospects. I am the Tom Vanquisher, both in the round and on our team. Who and where? Stop it. Okay, get you just like this. That's my only option, but we got you, and that also healed me up, so that's good. Get rid of those things. They have less health, I think, which is nice. Is somebody attacking me? I don't know. Oh, I think that was a, that was a parrot pal. Okay, here we go. You're in trouble now. Gotcha. I see the sunflower over this way. Oh no, this is a problem. <laughs> Once more than one of them starts beating me up, this guy's really good at reviving his teammates, which is, you know, just what you're supposed to do in that situation. Okay, so they're pushing it to the first checkpoint. We're not doing a very good job at stopping them. But I still need 40 more seconds for this Mac. Oh, there's a chomper. And he is gone, he is out of here. Yeah, I don't know where that nightcap went, but I do see a Citron. Oh, there's a nightcap, don't you dare. Yeah, you better not. Oh, you did it anyways, because you're a nightcap and you can do whatever you want. Darn it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely in a defensive situation, it's really hard to put yourself out there. As an imp, so it doesn't work out too well, but as a mech, it could turn out really great, but you can only do that like once every two or three minutes, so. Your gameplay is sort of fragmented in the meantime. If you had like a good core team, like it could work, but I, I would think that, oh my gosh, that's not even fair. Um, I think it would be better just to play a different defensive character in a situation like this. But I still like the imp and I'm having fun for sure. And we're doing well. I mean, like I said, we are competing for top vanquisher at the least. We're level four right now. We started at level one at the beginning of this round, right? Or that was last round, but I didn't do much last round. We go. I guess going this way was not the best idea, but I can move over here. Just trying to find a good sneaky spot to call in this mech can be a game changer. Like right here. Most of these guys don't see me, and that's going to be their undoing. Even if they do get the point, like that stinks. And also me having also awful aim, not awesome. <laughs> awful aim does not help very much. Come on, come on, come on. You really gotta shoot where they're going to be and not where they are. I slammed down on nothing there. Got you. I know there's a cactus somewhere attacking me because that's what cactuses do. Cacti, sorry. Oh boy. Nice, that's good. I'm gonna hide over this way as much as I can. 
Oh no, oh no, there's like five nightcaps. One was going to be too much. I don't know if it was five. It looked like it was more like two. Might have been exaggerating a bit. But I feel like we're doing some good moves with what we have as the imp. And that's always good. We're up to 18 vanquishers, which is crazy. Definitely crazy. The problem is we just have to wait around now for 90 more seconds for the most part. But if doing vanquishes or just doing damage really helps with the, the reloading, like that'd be great. We'll just have to see if that's actually the case or not. So I saw that pea shooter's trying to grab the battery and he did grab it. I guess I'll go this way to stop him. Yep, just like that. Okay, break dance on him. We gotta, we gotta. Because I know that the nightcap's around here too. There you are. And he's gone again. My aim is not doing so well. But we still got him. Just trying to watch over everybody, trying to steal the battery. Just need another second. And that one's back. But did somebody else take one? I don't know. It's green when it's off my screen, but I look towards it. It's just nothing's there. I guess there's a battery over this way. That's not good. Somebody got it. I don't know what my chances are of actually stopping that. Oh, hello, Sunflower. Ah, uh, okay, time extended for them is not good for us, but there's another Vanquish. At the least, I gotta get top Vanquisher in this round. I'm gonna work really hard for it. And of course, I'll try to stop the, the plants along the way. Easier said than done in our situation. What was that? Was that a pea shooter? That was a pea shooter. Okay, you get back over here. Thank you. It's just like, by the time I'm able to center my aim on him, it's already over. Okay, this stinks. This really stinks. Ah, uh, that was not good. Cause it's just like, I was trying to aim at him, but by the time I was able to, the, the, the grenade was done. It was over. Now trying to steal more batteries. How are we doing with vanquishes? We're up to 22. I think we, we've got it, but if we keep moving, we'll definitely get it, you know? Lots of zombies out there fighting. Let's join them. If we can. Okay, you know what? Get over here. Get over here. You're done. Thank you. Was that another one? Another night cat? I think it was. <laughs> she is running really fast. Okay, so here's a good spot. We go over here to pull out my mech. This poor cactus doesn't even see me yet. Or does she? You never. You can never count a cactus out. Apparently because my aim is the worst of all time. There's never been somebody with worse aim. Oh no, you, we got you. Somebody got you. That's good. Time extended. Got all these vase weeds. Not really a big fan of those. Uh, okay, you're done. That's good. Where are the plants at? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I see you with your battery. Gotcha. And then we're just gonna launch it right here. I, I pressed triangle so many times to launch it and it just took forever. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Uh, that was not well. That was just like not good at all. I was hoping for a little bit better that time. Plants think they've won, but feast your eyes on this. Launch the lighthouse. Wait, did we win? Or did the, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, they got all the batteries back. So he's gonna try to launch the lighthouse and it will fail spectacularly. Is that roll run out of energy? Not even close to orbit before the whole thing blows to smithereens. Yikes. I like how there's a couple of zombie bots there too. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, the plants win, but did we win with the top vanquisher spot? That's what I wanna find out now before we finish off today's episode. Uh, it will be to be determined whenever it's done loading. Yeah, wait, no. I don't know, it says I'm top healer because of the banner back there but I guess not. Usually the banner changes, doesn't it? Anyways, that was the top vanquisher with 25 vanquishes, which is awesome. And yeah, with that, we'll move back to Giddy Park and finish things off. So there we have it. There was some fun with the imp online. I would love to hear your thoughts on this character. And like I said before, how he has changed from Garden Warfare 2 to Battle for Neighborville. I think he's been pretty cool. We already got the upgrade form, so we don't have anything more with that. But yeah, overall, I had a good time. And yeah, we'll keep playing him. He actually, we actually already got some cool new things I'm definitely gonna be showcasing for him in some upcoming episodes. Uh, the most important, I don't think we've gotten a legendary hat for him, but I know that we got the ninja skin. So look at this, we're definitely showcasing that soon. Did we get a hat? A legendary hat for him? 
Oh, no, no, this isn't legendary, that's rare. All right, then, never mind. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Imp so you've watched the end if you were a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.